Welcome back, Jewels and Gems, to my channel. I am here with another video. It is currently six o'clock in the morning, and I'm filming this. Um, one of my subscribers, he put a comment in the comment section asking, um, basically saying that he felt like he didn't throw enough money when he had went to the strip club, and he kind of doesn't know like what is the male stripper etiquette. So I decided I'll just make a customer etiquette one-on-one for the strip club and we'll harp a lot on gentlemen's uh etiquette in the club because i know that's what he would like to know and i'm pretty sure there's some other guys who are like am i doing too much am i not doing enough so if you're looking for that type of videos ladies and gentlemen buckle up sit tight i got a video for you Here's my little sign. Customer etiquette. It's ugly because I wrote it in all caps on top of my calendar. But customer etiquette 101. Boom. So I'm gonna give you guys about five tips that you can work with. Tip number one. Please, please, please. I know there's ATMs. I know that there's corner stores left and right, but come in already with cash on you. It doesn't matter if it's $100, if it's $200, please try to come in with cash on you. I, I, I'm i not gonna say I can't stand, but I can't stand when a customer comes in and, oh, I didn't bring no money on me and say that club's ATM isn't working because I've been in clubs where the ATM isn't working or they didn't put more cash in there or the system is literally just down so people can't pull money but there's a guy here or a girl there who actually wants to partake in the festivities but guess what they don't got no money on them and they thought that if they decided to do a dance they would just pull money from the card every strip club is not equipped with the atm they should be but every club's not and every atm inside the club doesn't always work um, you got to understand, even when I worked at gentlemen's clubs, there will be nights where he's like, the system's down. Let them know we don't have an ATM tonight. There's a sign over the ATM if anybody tries to use it. In gentlemen's clubs and in the urban clubs, I've, I've been in clubs where both times that customers cannot use ATMs. I worked at a club for almost three months. The ATM machine was not working, like, at all. <laughs> it just was on a fo one screen error like every single day so basically when you come in with your own money you can then be allowed mentally and financially to have fun but when you're depending on that atm thinking that oh i'm not going to come in here and spend money you never know what dancer you might meet that change your mind or a bartender who has these new fancy drinks and you're like you know what i want to tip her a little bit but you have no cash like come with a little bit of something a bonus on top of that try to run your own ones i'm not saying you got to come in there with 600 ones already loaded from the bank but if you know you're gonna go to the club that night and it's a week it's a weekday just stop by the bank if you're gonna bring 500 big bills they're gonna charge you in the club 10 percent of whatever you're so you're gonna take 50 dollars off of that 500 that you're gonna exchange for ones when you could just simply go to your bank and say hey i got some a few big bills on me can you just go ahead and change that out for 500 ones it don't even got to be that deep if you have 100 100 ones if you have 200 ones and you just put a little something on you so that it's like at least you get to spend all of your money because the club is going to take their percent when you give them that big bill because now that they're, they're giving you technically their money so even though it's your money it's their ones so just think about that that's for girls and guys i've seen it so many times where the club is running out of ones and customers are like dang i only got big bills and they don't want to just hand that's boring to them let me just hand her a hundred dollars they want the aesthetic of throwing the money on the girls or spreading the love out a little bit some people want the aesthetic of having videos of them having fun throwing money or some people want to flex with all their ones like, ah. you know so just think about that 
Uh, second tip is stop trying to touch our poo nanny. Uh, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't know us. Y'all don't know where these girls have been. Y'all don't know where we've been. We, your hands been all on money all night long. I could have, I could have a whole STD, and you sitting here trying to touch my poo nanny. I don't mean touch it outside the clothes. I mean you try to be slick and slide the money uh, in between my thong, and then you try to rub your little nasty dirty finger on my poo nanny. Stop, stop. And for you extra gross people, stop trying to touch my booty hole, cause y'all are just just on top of nasty. Cause that be happening too. Let me tell you, I done had a lot of people try to touch my booty hole, and I'm like, really? Like, what's wrong with you? I told you guys a whole story time about how a customer, I was dancing in front of him on stage and he literally grabbed my butt, spread it open and kissed my booty while I was on stage and security dang, dang near tackled him out of the club. Like, and that was when I was working at the white club. So, um, like, it's just like a respect thing. Like, I didn't come here to be assaulted. I didn't come here to be like groped i came here to work just like you were clocking at your job you don't want your boss rubbing all on behind your ear and try to grab your johnson and wells like come on give me some respect i know i'm a dancer but i'm still a person at the end of the day you don't have to do all that and if that's what the type of time you on, you need to go walk the boulevard and look for a person who's looking for a john like this is not that environment and when you bring that type of energy you stir up the wrong type of environment in the club because your mindset is already on something that strip clubs not even really supposed to ever be about so it's supposed to be just pure fun entertainment and you try to make it a, a whole whorehouse like chill dude chill and this go for girls too because straight women think it's okay to touch you because they're straight no ma'am please respect my body dude would you want me to see you in public and just because you got a sundress on come behind you and grab a handful of your butt grab a handful of your titties because i'm straight and you know i don't want to have sex with you no keep the same energy both genders i don't like it when a female does it and i don't like it when a guy does it please just don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me i'm not your woman i'm not your lady and i'm not your slut Please don't touch me. I don't know why it's so hard for guys and girls just to have fun. If the if the dancer doesn't say it's okay to touch me here, touch me there, if they don't give you the okay, don't do it. Because I typically like to stop, set boundaries. Yes, you can touch my boobs. Yes, you can touch my butt. But everything else is off limits. Do not grab my face. Do not pull on my, don't pull on my arms. I'm not your do girl. And do not touch my private areas. Sorry, sir. Sorry, ma'am. I've given you my areas of availability. If you don't like it, next customer. Um, another tip I would say is please have your hygiene together. Y'all have all these high expectations of us female dancers, but I sat next to or walked up to or had to dance on a stank customer. And I don't mean like, oh, he just got a little must. He's starting to get a little must. I mean like, did you bathe last night? I mean like, did you come straight from work? Or are you sweating at the door when you were paying to get in? Did you even stop by the dollar store to even look at deodorant? Like type saying, y'all want us to be all fresh and so clean, clean. We're literally in there sweating. There's no reason why you are the stank one. You're just sitting down or you're just standing up or you're just chilling at the bar. Why are you so musty? Please come in there with your nice cologne or, or a fresh bath and some deodorant. Please, you don't even understand how many stank customers I've come across. That includes brushing your teeth. If I'm sitting here popping mints all night and gum and bringing two brushes with me to work to make sure my breath smells good, why are you coming to the club with funky breath? It is 10.30 at night. You don't think that you need to brush your teeth before you get out of here? You brush your teeth at 10 a.m. It is 10 p.m. You don't think it's time to cycle a little through before you come out to the club stink breath customers are not fun to be around at all and i will not give you any eye contact i will dance away from you sir and you will not ever get any conversation if that's what you're looking for because this 
and get in front of this. Okay. Um, another. <laughs> I just had some flashbacks. Um, another tip I would say. Um. If you're already dancing, because a lot of guys don't know this, but if you're already dancing with a customer and you've already started to throw money in front of her, please, please make it known to the other, the dancer that you were previously with, that you're inviting another dancer. Or don't, or if someone walks past, don't start throwing money on on that person when you have a dancer already in front of you with money still on her on the floor because the neck starts confusion and arguments between dancers because it's like my money wasn't cleaned up yet and i'm not busting this down because it shouldn't have been to bust down then it's cattiness and then arguing so if you do want to dance with another girl you're done with that person feel free to let her know hey sweetie i'm good i don't want no more dances then you, you you do what you want with your money. But just to create less confusion, try to be courteous as well to let her know, like, I'm done dancing you. Or, hey, I'm going to bring another girl over here. I just want to let you know. Then she's like, oh, okay, let me clean my money up. Because now this is the money I earn. But if you still want me over here with her, then whatever money we earn now is our money and we'll do an even split. So just, you know, a lot of customers don't know that. They just want to throw money and have fun. And they don't know the behind the scenes of what happens when they're not looking and when they're not around. So, yeah, my final and fifth tip that I have for you guys. I'm trying to think because I didn't write nothing down. I didn't write nothing down. Ooh, uh, sorry. Um... I don't know what that was if you're sitting in front of the stage and you do not plan on tipping please move from around the stage because you're giving the illusion that you're interested and you're just watching when we at the club ain't don't watch me if you're not gonna tip me don't watch move from in front of my stage set so that other customers who want to tip me have a place to stand, have a place to sit. If you don't have no money, if you don't have no intentions on throwing your money, move from in front of me. Don't let me keep dancing in front of you. Don't don't keep sitting on, in front of my stage knowing good and dang on well, you have no intentions on throwing not one dollar. Please and thank you. That is so rude. It is so it's so demeaning to us because it's like, it, am I boring? Is I'm not am I not doing good enough? Does he want to dance? Does he not want to dance? I don't know. Like I'm confused. So you need to if you if you don't want that person and you're not planning on tipping him, get up, find somewhere else to go, or at least turn your back. That's kind of rude. But at least turn your back if it's like a club where the seats are all around the club or it's a bar for the stage. Because I've been in clubs like that where it's the bar and inside of the bar is the stage for girls to dance on. So, you know, at least, you know, like turn over to the side or get on your phone. Don't be sitting there like this. And you're not tipping her. That is so rude. She's up there sweating and giving all her energy and busting up her kneecaps and sweating her feet out and swelling her feet up for you not even give her one dollar come on man really that's so out of line um and to the guy that was telling me he felt like he didn't throw enough money listen throw what you can afford don't sit up in a i mean you know unless you're gonna throw it on me throw whatever you got baby throw throw it to the bank is empty but you know don't feel like oh um Dang, I only threw through four hundred dollars, but you only had five hundred dollars in your bank account. You really couldn't even afford to throw it for. Throw what you can afford, cause don't don't be that customer trying to ask to get money back. Don't be that customer complaining saying the VIP wasn't worth it. You want a refund because you couldn't afford them two hundred dollars you spent on that VIP. You couldn't afford them four hundred dollars you just threw on that dancer. So now you telling her her work wasn't good enough. Cause guess what? In my clubs, ain't no such thing as a refund on a dance. Cause I can't take my dance back. Now, if you came in here with a loaf of bread in a grocery store and a, a bread was moldy, you can give me that bread back and I can give you your money back. But I can't take my time back and I can't take the dance move and the energy that I just used on you back. I can't get none of that back. 
So once my time is gone, your money is gone. So throw what you can afford. Don't be out here trying to be a baller shot caller. Then five minutes later, like, that was my rent money. Please don't do that. Just stay within your means. Spend what you can spend. If you plan on coming back out to that club again, just make a good impression because then more customers, I mean, more dancers will be drawn to you. Therefore, your time at the club can be a lot better than the peons that sit there and just watch. You'll get a lot of love. When they know that you um, throw a Lisa dub, okay? Um, but that's really all that I have for you guys. I'm ready to go to sleep. I don't know when this video is going to go up because, whoo, girl, I've been trying to record a video every night when I get off work. I, <laughs> I got off late tonight. So, um, I love you guys. And like I always say, until next time, Jules and Jules, peace.